Hello everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Transformer pig. This is Leo Zack from the Transformer Victory Line. He is a breast former. Came out in 1989. He is the lieutenant to Dazaris. Very nice alt mode. It's a F14 um, Tomcat, I believe. I do like the ratchety um, joints on the wings. When you extend them. Very cool. Got some nice detailing. Does have a landing gear. Um, doesn't really serve a purpose since you have the breastplate here, as you can see, there's not a lot of clearance. So you're actually, the fig's actually resting on the, the breastplate there, unfortunately. So, but um, still very nice. Flip it to the underside. Unfortunately, you see all of the robot. I mean, you can see Leo Zach's head there, his arms, and what's going to be his legs and feet. But still, for a G1 toy, um, pretty sweet. All right. So let's transform real quickly. All right, transforming this guy, very easy. Um, what we're gonna do first, put the landing gear in. Take his wings, pop them up like that. Take the um, tail fins actually, we're gonna actually fold this this way. Take this back piece and we're just gonna extend it down like so. Take the nose cone of the plane, just fold it back. And then, all right, finally got the feet to dislodge. There we go. All transformed. Very nice looking. Articulation real quickly. His arms can rotate all the way to the top, like so. And then until it hits the um, shoulder part, that's as far as it goes. And then back down like that. So, very nice looking. Um, head sculpt's really sweet. I do like the line there. Um, real quickly, um, size comparison. Here he is next to Slingshot and the aerial bots, as you can see how large Leo Zack is. And here he is next to Scrapper, so you can get kind of a better kind of look, I guess. Not as big as a deluxe size pig, though, unfortunately. But if you happen to have the um, Robot Master Star Saber, they fit pretty well together. All right, so this guy is a breast former, so his breastplate here can actually pop off, which I actually like this idea to the point that um, he can always carry his weapon with him and his little kind of lion sidekick. So to transform his breastplate into his gun, he's just going to flip this piece around like so, as you can see there. And it becomes, I believe it's called the Leo Cannon. That's not too bad. And then you can transform him into his line mode which I don't know if there's an official name for this guy Pull out his legs a little bit and then take this part and fold out the um, lion head and it's got some pretty good detail there unfortunately it's pretty small it fits nicely with like the Robot Masters Star Saber but if you've seen the show, obviously this guy's bigger, but this is bigger that actually it can attack um, Star Saber in his um, powered up form. But not too bad. All right. All right, there's one last thing. Leo Zack actually comes with another accessory piece, unlike the other um, five guys. He actually has the head to Lyle Kaiser. So if you're getting this guy individually outside of the gift set, um, to get him complete, remember... He's the one that comes with the headpiece. So, um, let's see. There was a Botcon exclusive of Leo Zack that was released, I think, in two thousand nine. Um, just a retooled, or redecoed, um, Energon Starscream, but pretty sweet looking. Uh, and there was also an Autobot version of this guy, part of the Autobot Rescue Force, that was released in the early nineties, mid nineties, something like that. So. Unfortunately, it didn't come with any of these two accessory pieces, but that's about it. So this has just been a quick look at Leo Zack from the Transformers Victory Line. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Stay tuned for more. Take care, and I'll talk to you guys later.